everybody, I'm Mihi, and this is your Belly Dance Quickie. In last Thursday's episode, we had gone over basics for candle arms and just started to overlay these. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take that partial overlapping of one to the other and we're going to put it into a turn. And then we're going to take some little creative things with our turn. So what we were going over, if you did not um, see that one, I want you to go back and check my channel for the candle arm basics video and if you hopefully practice that one. So we're going to take this out. So just to do this one time, what we're doing with our arms, and we went over in the video, we went around to the top, and then as we came in, this arm had to come out. So this happens at the same time, those two parts right there. And so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be working this into a turn, first of all. Into a spin, I should say, actually. So here, you can spin any direction you like. I'm going to spin counterclockwise. So I like to keep my feet on half time when I turn, and for something like this, I prefer to turn in a moray style with my legs together and having all the action be right at my ankles. I find that gives a smoother turn, but if you prefer to paddle turn, then you're welcome to do that as well. So, okay, so we're gonna get started. I have my left foot in front. I'm gonna be turning counterclockwise. You can turn either direction that you like. And here we go. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four like that so i like to keep my feet on half feet for that keeps everything tied down to the music but that's one way that we can do that so when you come with your turn and you take one arm back out and you take this one in. This gives us some opportunities to do some other things. So let's connect our candle arms in a couple of different ways here. Let's think about when we wind up with our arms both at the top, if we don't lower them down. Then we can also, during a spin, take our arms back down to the bottom like this. So let's try that transition right there. So from here, we go around to the top and around to the top and open out and here down to the bottom like that. So that's one possibility. So let's try another one. So this time we're going to go around to the top and then we're going to go here and then spin just like that. So we're going to spin in this position. So let's try that one. So from here we're going to go around to the top and then out to the top and stay here, like that. So there's another idea for you. So as you can see, if you kind of play off of your static arm positions for your spins, for your candle arms, you can find places to make some connections where you can use the candle arms uh, themselves to get you there. So that's what I have for you to play with this week. Be careful with your palm flames, practice with them unlit quite a bit until you are really, really sure of your movements and have them balanced nicely in your hand and feel very secure with them. So uh, if you have not already heard, then these short tutorial videos, not the problems, <laughs> but have turned into a full-length DVD that will be coming out in February. We're very excited about this. Full on with Three Quarter Shimmies will be released in February of 2016, and it will be just loaded with all kinds of technique and you are available to pre-order it at this time for a very nice price and also help support the project to get it going. So I hope you will take advantage of that and take a look in the box down there and check it out. Have a good week.